The new musical at Venice Theatre highlights the golden age of American culture, the 1950s. Smokey Joe's Cafe is packed with nearly 40 pop songs that we all know and love. Joining us today are members of the cast with a preview of the hit song, Stand By Me. Take it away. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. So darling, darling, stand by me, oh, stand by me, stand by me, stand by me. If the sky that we look upon should tumble and fall, and the mountains shall crumble into the sea. I won't cry, I won't cry, no, I, I won't. I won't shed a tear just, just as long as you stand, stand by me. So darling, darling, stand by me. Whoa, stand, stand by me. Stand by me. Stand by me. So darling. Fabulous, Yay. fabulous, wow, that you guys are good. Awesome. Fantastic. I feel like we were transported back. All right, well, let's first, we wanna, we wanna meet you guys. Introduce yourselves if you would. Uh, my name's Edwin Watson. Uh, Marquise Atkinson. Ish Harris. Nadal Zarur. Well, you all sound fabulous, <laughs> like you've been singing together forever. We also want to introduce the director and choreographer, Dwayne Barrett. Hello, hello, hello. Dwayne, what a great cast so far. I know this is only part of the cast. How it many is. people are in the show? Uh, we have nine, so it's a, a review, so it's not your typical plot with a boy meets girl kind of story. So it's mainly just all the great songs from Lieber and Stoller. And, and I said the 50s, but it actually includes songs from the 50s and the 60s. 50s and the 60s. Um, actually, one of the big hits from the show is Hound Dog <laughs> oh. and Jailhouse Rock, which actually was written by them for Big Mama Thornton mm -hmm. back in the day. And then, of course, Elvis did it and then made it even more popular. So. Mm. Wow, so the, a show well. like this, the entire cast, I mean, they're doing a ton of work. They don't really get a break. Um, were you able to find all the performers? How did you find all these great guys and girls? Um, they, from all over. A lot of these, uh, all three of these guys are from out of town, and then a, another one of the girls is from out of town. So um, just auditioned. They sent their video submissions in, and we got them. Well, we're oh. lucky to have you. What's the, how's the show been so far? I know you're just in previews now. Um, what's it been like to work together? What have rehearsals been? Oh, it's been great. It's been great. I've, I've we all gel together, we blend together immediately. It's been a good time. Well, everybody's going to recognize all the songs. That's what oh, I think oh, makes yeah. it so great. Dwayne, tell us a little bit about Lieber and Stoller, because those names aren't necessarily familiar to everybody, but boy, the music will be. Yeah, um, they, they really wanted to capture that music from the 50s and 60s, and once they pitched this to all the producers in New York, they were on board right away. 
And actually, this show is the longest running review in Broadway history. Wow. Really? Wow. And no wonder it's been so successful. How does your production compare with some of the productions that we may have seen, either touring or on Broadway? Um, well, to be honest, because I'm also a choreographer, I kind of added a lot more dance to the show. Oh, I love <laughs> yeah. that. Love um, that. And Venice had did the show before, and they're bringing it back. And actually, Edwin was in the, uh, the company the last time that they did it, uh, but they brought me on board to add some new dance to it and make it a different production than when they did it the last time. Now, you've really got music that every, all ages love. Oh, yeah. And there's, my kids won't s listen to the 80s or the 90s because it's <laughs> right. old and it's not cool, but the 50s and 60s has gotten cool again. Are you seeing everybody coming out to the show? We, we do, and that's what's exciting about being able to have this music to the next generation, you know, mm -hmm. the, the younger ones that really don't know these songs. Um, but there's like Ruby Ruby. Oh. Um, yeah, Ruby Ruby. I'm going uh, back to my childhood. Ladies and gentlemen, Yak, Charlie Brown, Baby That's Rock and Roll. Yeah, so I it's know a lot every of word if you need me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and a strong representation for women as well, right? Like I'm, um, I'm a woman. There's one I'm the, a woman's in the show, which numbers. brings down the house, of course. Um, and there's there goes my baby, Love Potion Number Nine. Mm. So. That's why the audience, even before the curtain call, they're already on their feet standing oh. up. Well, Fun. we can yeah. see why. You all sounded fantastic. Oh, yes. And you'll want to see Smokey Joe's Cafe at Venice Theatre. It runs through February 4th. Go to their website for ticket information. And I bet you're going to want to get your tickets fast because I bet definitely. they're going to go pretty quickly. All right, when we come back, an internationally known Suncoast clown gets a big award and honor. But first, let's hear uh, Stand By Me one more time from the guys. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see 